Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Marketo Fu. Uh, my name is Joe Wrights, and today what we're going to talk about is how to merge dupes uh, or duplicate records. So, uh, like I said in the description, Marketo really does his darndest to make sure that duplicates don't enter the database, but um, Marketo is usually run by humans, so it happens. Uh, it might be from a, a list upload or, you know, depending on how big and cross-functional your team is, there's so many different ways a dupe can get in. And they could be already existing in Salesforce. It can be a huge problem. Um, but by default, Marketo, any any lead you, you bring into Marketo, Marketo will try to uh, match up the email addresses and then prevent a duplicate record from occurring. Um, but one thing to also keep in mind is Marketo will only send one email address, one email. So you don't have to worry about the dupes getting two different two different copies of the same email, but it's still something you want to manage from a, a data quality, data management standpoint. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you basically where to find dupes and then how to how to address them. Uh, it's a little bit of a manual of a process um, by default, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. So here we go. Cool. And I am going to hide this. All right. So back in Marketo now, let me make this a little bigger. Uh, when you log into Marketo, you have your default screen, tiles, whatever, right? So you want to go to the lead database. And then once you're here, uh, you'll see a bunch of system smart lists by default. You probably have some other stuff down here too, any segmentations or, or group lists or anything like that you may have. But um, obviously, the one we're interested in is this very, very cleverly named possible duplicates system smart list. And basically, all it is is it's looking for any duplicate fields, uh, again, by default, is email address. So uh, we're going to go in. We're going to look at the leads here. I think I created a couple dummy leads uh, for me. So you can see there's a Joe Wrights, who's a strategist at Fathom, uh, his phone number, his lead status, and his source. And then there's one that, obviously, this is a dupe. So dupe, record, black belt, Marketo, foo, master. Um, Again, because <laughs> no one gets the Marketo Foo thing. Uh, so I'm trying to work, it, work in as many jokes as I can. Uh, but then you see the email addresses are the same, right? So that's what that's what helped it get caught. And then if I wanted to merge these leads, what I would simply do is select them. And I can control click or shift click to make sure I get both of them. And then along the top here, there's this uh, handy little merge leads button. You can click that. And then when this loads, uh, you, can, you can decide whose info do you want to keep from whose. So maybe... Uh, you know, uh, obviously, wh when this lead came in or however they came in, they, they filled in a bunch of dummy data for, you know, their address is one none of business. Uh, so they're obviously not the right one. I would say th these job titles and names are probably not the uh, the correct ones. Friendship doesn't really sound like a good lead source to me. So we'll, we'll go ahead and mark that SFDC. And uh, while both technically correct, I think Illinois would be the, the proper way to uh, to describe our, our fine state. So uh, once you have all those selected, you can like, it's as simple as that. You just go down field by field that doesn't match up. And then you choose the field you want to keep. And then you simply select merge. And that's that. So obviously, when you have a uh, so now we have one one record, and when we look at all the fields, I kept I basically just did away with the other one and just collapsed it into this one. So um, you know, there's no activity logs on either of these, but you I, th I believe you I'm gonna have to actually have to double check on that now that I say it. Um, backlog and history, uh, I believe. Um, doesn't get collapsed properly, but I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Don't quote me on that yet. Uh, so basically, uh, we kept all the fields that um, that are here. And uh, so, you know, all the good address info. Oh, except uh, we missed one. This shouldn't be America. It should be USA is our current convention. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. So anytime you, and if you, you notice how simple it was just for me to change, you know, one thing on the actual lead record in Marketo, just like that. Just make sure you click out of the box. But, um, but yeah, so that uh, essentially, I want to unshare my screen. <laughs> so that essentially was how to merge a dupe in Marketo. Uh, you know, if you have thousands of dupes, obviously that is a little more intensive of a process. And then there's there's some other third party services that can help you kind of get at that a little better. But um, you know, dupes are something you should manage ongoing. So if you're in a fresh implementation, uh, 
try to keep an eye on that regularly so they don't get out of hand. Uh, same thing with all those system smart lists. You know, if you want to catch the bounces, you want to catch the the no acquisition programs. The cleaner those system smart lists are, the more healthy your instance is, just as a general general barometer of how uh, how clean your your operations are. So, um, this has been another episode of Marketo Foo. My name is Joe Wrights, and I look forward to uh, talking to you guys again soon.